नेक्स्ट इश्यू ऑफ शेयर्स टू वेंडर्स इश्यू ऑफ शेयर्स टू वेंडर्स वी परचेज एसेट्स मे बी वी बाय अ प्लांट एंड मशीनरी फ्रॉम अ पर्टिक्युलर वेंडर फॉर फाइव लैक्स instead of paying cash of 5 lakh it's possible that we issue shares to the vendor <clears throat> when we issue the shares this shares may be issued at par at premium or at a discount what then would be the accounting entries and again in this case also just like there was a contract of sale for services this contract of sale has to be produced before the registrar of companies when shares are issued to vendors and as discussed in the case of promoters a note it has to be shown separately in the balance sheet by way of a note <coughs> what would be the accounting entries would actually be of two kinds one is for the purchase of assets when assets are purchased what would be the entry suppose i purchase a machinery the entry would be machinery account debit to vendor account let us say the machinery is for 5 lakh and we have decided to pay the vendor 5 lakhs in that case it would be machinery account debit to vendor 5 lakhs very often a company may take over a substantial portion of another business it takes over a few assets it takes over a few liabilities say 10 lakh worth of assets 2 lakh worth of liabilities so the net worth is actually 8 lakhs if the company records these assets in its books at a slightly different value and the purchase consideration is at a different value for example the company thinks that the book value of this machinery should be let us say 6 lakhs however it pays the vendor only 5 lakhs so basically as per the company's valuation a profit of 1 lakh has been made so the account credited is capital reserve a capital profit right so capital reserve account credit by 1 lakh if reverse is the case if the value of the net assets taken over if the value of the net assets taken over is more than what we have to pay to the vendor then it is assumed that the extra amount has been paid on account of goodwill for example if the net assets let me just call it sundry assets sundry assets i have taken over for 5 lakhs but the vendor is being paid 6 lakh so there is an extra 1 lakh i am paying as for the book value of the assets in the company in my company's books the value is only 5 lakhs however i need to pay the purchase consideration which is payable to the vendor is 6 lakh the difference is assumed to be on account of goodwill so goodwill debit 1 lakh so this is one set of entries purchase of assets and therefore decide if the goodwill or capital reserve is arising so assets account debit with the value book value in our books to vendor account it is credited with the purchase consideration due any difference is either credited to the capital reserve or debited to the goodwill account credited to capital reserve or debited to goodwill account so that finishes one set of entries the next set of entries is the issue of shares these shares may be issued at par premium or discount this par premium or discount should not be confused with the goodwill or capital reserve which has already arisen they are independent how will the how will you decide on the accounting entry when shares are issued first and foremost 
we need to find out the number of shares being issued. What is the number of shares issued? It would be equal to the purchase consideration. The purchase consideration decided, maybe in this case 5 lakh or if it's this case, it is 6 lakh. Divided by the issue price, issue price of a share, issue price of a single share. This will give us the number of shares issued. Once you know the number of shares issued, share capital would be credited with would be credited with face value of shares issued, number of shares issued which we have arrived at into face value. If there is a securities premium, securities premium would be credited with number of shares issued into premium per share, into premium per share. Similarly, if it is at a discount, what would be the amount of discount? We have already established, we have already learned that securities premium is credited, discount on issue of shares would be debited. So discount on issue of shares would be debited with what value? Again, number of shares. Once you know number of shares, we cannot go wrong with the accounting entry. So it becomes number of shares into amount of discount per share, discount per share. That would be the accounting entries. <clears throat> On purchase of a business, issue of shares to vendors, the accounting entries once more. On purchase of a business, sundry assets account debit to sundry liabilities both with the book value to vendors account to capital reserve. Let us take an example. Suppose we take over sundry assets. We are taking over several assets of a business. The total value of these assets, if you add a plant, machinery, furniture, etc., maybe the book value at which the company is going to record in its books, the total value would be, let us say, 10 lakhs. But it is also when it takes over the business, takes over certain liabilities, let us say the liabilities are 2 lakhs. Okay, so actually the net worth is 10 minus 2, 8 lakhs. But suppose, suppose the vendor is being paid only 7 lakhs. So to vendor's account, the purchase consideration due is only 7 lakhs. This is with purchase consideration due. We have negotiated with the vendor and he has said these assets the company can take over these liabilities and he has to be paid 7 lakh. When the company goes through the assets, the book value, it is going to record these assets at a value of 10 lakhs and the liabilities at a value of 2 lakhs. So the net worth that it is taking over see, appears to be only 8 appears to be 8 lakhs. But the vendor is being paid only 7 lakhs. Therefore, the company makes a profit of 1 lakh. That is credited to capital risk. Or in another situation, suppose the assets taken over is 10 lakhs recorded. The liabilities as mentioned before maybe was for 2 lakhs. But the vendor has to be paid, let us say, 9 lakhs. In that case, it means we have taken over assets. The company has taken over assets worth 8 lakh. But the consideration which is being paid is 9 lakh. And therefore, the 1 lakh, remaining 1 lakh is extra amount being paid. It is assumed to be on account of goodwill. So goodwill account gets debited with 1 lakh. Sundry assets 10 lakh, goodwill 1 lakh, sundry liabilities 2 lakh, vendors account 9 lakhs. This is one part of the accounting entry that is for purchase consideration due, for taking over of the asset. We have not yet issued shares to the vendor. We have only established by an accounting entry what is payable to the vendor what is due to the vendor. In order to find out the number of shares to be issued to the vendor, we will divide this purchase consideration 
we will divide this purchase consideration by the issue price per share. Purchase consideration divided by issue price per share. What will this give us? This will give us the number of shares to be issued. Number of shares to be issued into the face value will give us share capital. Number of shares issued into securities premium per share will give us the securities premium. If they have been issued at a discount, number of shares into discount per share will give us the amount of discount on issue of shares. So now let us consider an example.